Yeah, that's like a psychological thing. That's like, yeah, people don't like to hear themselves. I know when I be like editing the shit, bro, I don't even want to like hear myself, bro, but it is what it is. Oh, like, damn, niggas listen to this for two hours? <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know how y'all niggas do it. But anyway, man, we back. Another episode, Random Master Podcast. It's your boy, Ampavelli. Yes, sir. It's Mr. Jefferson. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, man. We got a special guest in the building, man. He pulled up on us, man. It's a ho- it's a holiday for these two individuals who can't say the N word yet. <laughs> it's a holiday. They both get uh, Gator fans, but he said, man, f- he said, man, fuck it, man. I'm gonna pull up, man. I, we I got, got the Florida Georgia game today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm when we it. beat them boys, it's a it's a celebration. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he said. He said, man, fuck it. My craft come first, man. So we got a guest. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Shit, a little wine three times. Yes, sir, man. From you from Jacksonville, right? Yeah, I'm from Jacksonville. Definitely from Jacksonville, man. We got to talk before we record it, man. He got an interesting life. So he got <laughs> we gonna get into all that, man. So what does the three time mean on your name before we get into the shit? So um, I don't really mean that. I just I just lighted it. Oh, okay. I, I got. That. I had to ask because I was like, I seen one of the features on your album. They had the three times on their name also. So I, was like, I mean, I was like your crew name, like you got your mind like making a little, crew name. It's like a little crew shit. Yeah, that's what's up, man. So how long you been uh been rapping? Really, about like three years, my like, for, for real. Okay, you know, about a good three three year run. And then we gotta ask, of course, what you being from the city? What side of town you from? From the north side. Okay. <laughs> Score one man. for Amp. <laughs> nigga, at, you said one at this point. It's about like eight, it's about like eight hundred, man. <laughs> what is that part of North Side you from, bro? From Pickett. Okay. No, you're, you're a real nigga, man. Salute Pickettville. Yeah, man. yeah. Pickettville, man. Yeah, yeah. What's the brother name that got the song? Damn, I can't believe you are Pickettville, Florida. Uh, damn, LeBrad. Uh, uh, it ain't Brad, is it? No, nah, um, it's not Brad. Damn, um, he just got locked up, bro. Damn, I know exactly who you're talking about. Uh, that shit used to go so hard. What beat was that? <coughs> oh, it was the uh, Timberland Indian flute. There you go. But I, yeah. can't remember, I can't believe I forgot bro's name. We were supposed to have him on the show. He got, he free him. He got locked up, bro. He got mm-hmm. uh, a lot of years, but like, yeah, <laughs> he made the classic song about Pickettville, Florida, but yeah. salute him. Neither one of our brains is working, but it is what it is, man. But we, we talking about Lawan today, man, three times. But uh, how was your life growing up, your childhood and whatnot? Mine was great. It was just like, shit, life just life, for real, for real. Yeah. I ain't gonna say my shit was hard, but my shit was great. Yeah, average childhood. You, uh, how many siblings you got? <laughs> I got about. Six. Damn. Boy, that's a big family. That's a big family. I got my six. <laughs> you got the you got the Wayne's family yeah. or whatever. <laughs> Any, anybody else in your family make music or is it just you? It's just me. Damn, that's what's up. That's what's up. You got a big supporting uh, supporting cast for you though. Yeah. 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 Yeah, with six siblings, when I yeah, if I'll drop music, I need to hate this live be like hey, Shit, give I me your go. phone. I better <laughs> see it. My music in your phone. I better be in your uh, at least one of the six siblings. You need I better to be go in cop the first right? week, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Something. <laughs> yeah, at least something, bro. <laughs> hey man, all six of y'all, put your phone on, on silent. Right. Put it and on let repeat. Run. <laughs> you should just get the screens right, up. Right. I did salute. that though. Yeah, I did that a few times. Got a tablet. <laughs> yeah, let yeah. That shit play. Let the whole hour. <laughs> that shit play. Yeah, I did that. I did that to my sister when I first started podcasting. She was she was young as hell. I grabbed her phone. Yeah. Downloaded the pod, the uh, Apple Podcast. Downloaded that shit. Subscribe. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So let me ask you this: when you uh, when you started rapping and you went to your family, how was the uh, reception? How did everybody take it? Are you the youngest? Like, where where do you fit in the in the in the group? I'm the oldest. Oh, okay, okay. Damn. But uh, my mom, she was like, she wasn't really like, she didn't really like it. Really? Nah, she didn't really like it because it was like. I don't know what I was talking about. Yeah. Talking crazy. <laughs> shit like that shit. But she she support though, 100%. But she rather she rather me like rap about like the ladies and shit yeah, like yeah. that. Rap about like some <laughs> dummy dummy shit. But That's all mothers. They they they, they want their sons to be ill, Ill yeah, and shit. Yeah, she ain't like that shit at first. 
for real, for real. But yeah, you you could you could do both, bro. You could do like the music that you're making now. You can make the yeah. you gotta get I'm trying that shit out though. I got some shit like that on the way. You got in your singing bag yet? Yeah, that's what I gotta work on. I ain't too much of the singing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can I can try that bit, but that is in my voice so high pitched. Yeah, shit coming out weird. <laughs> oh, I got slap. I don't, I don't. I was about to say slap the auto tune. I don't make music, so I don't know what the what the. What yeah, once that. you do, yeah, once you put that auto tune on the auto tune. Yeah, sure. yeah. It's some niggas that can't sing that be like they be killing the auto tune. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shit, Thug one of the best. Honestly, Thug. Uh, they be talking about how he used his voice as an instrument. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Thug, man. Hold up, nah, Thug can Thug can sing, bro. Stop it, man. Thug can't sing, nigga. We not going there. <laughs> All right, man. Well, yeah, man. Put the auto tune on, man. Yeah, make make your mama proud. Damn. So you twenty two, so you got some young siblings. Yeah. Damn. They look up to you. So what? They just had me for money and shit. Like, <laughs> that's how it is, man. Hey, shit, today, that's looking up to you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just nothing but money. I'm the same way. I'm the oldest. I'm always getting asked for money, bro. It is what it is, bro. When you the oldest, you know, you pretty much the third parent, pretty much, by default. So. Yeah, you got yeah. So they need some bread. <laughs> they gonna they gonna ask they gonna ask you before they ask the parents. So Come on, beat dog. It is what it is, man. So you gotta put that music out, man. You gotta get that. You gotta get get you a deal or something. Get breaded up. Yes, sir. Show some show some love. So like before we were recording, we was talking about the geek back video. So when um when we hit you up about the uh, the interview and whatnot, we had noticed that uh you ain't had nothing on your Instagram. You ain't <laughs> had no videos out, but um. It's all good, man. R.E.O.P., man. We professionals. We're going we gonna, to we gonna thug through it anyway. We're going to get you a, a good interview. But uh, I didn't know there was a get back video, and you told me the story about it. So we got to get that on camera about how that got, like, how that uh, transpired of getting taken down and whatnot. So, my brother, I wasn't, I wasn't, like, trying to let him, like, he was already in the case, so I wasn't trying to. Yeah. Put that shit on top of it. Like yeah. incriminating him and shit like that. Like that was my like my really first video for real. So I ain't really know what to expect. All I know is niggas getting locked up behind this shit. Yeah. Getting locked up behind the shit we doing. So I just let that video sit out. I ain't really care about it because I don't really care about music like that. Mm. So I ain't dropped that bit. That's the only reason why. Damn. There's a lot of shit behind it, but did it actually come out or like you you had the you had the video and you like took it down or whatnot? Yeah, it, it came out, but I like I just took it down because that's after that it just shit just started happening. So damn, just, damn. Took that bit down. Yeah, it's tough today, man. Uh, they using everything against us. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. yeah, especially that uh that Reddit man, that Reddit boy, them boys on the, on that Reddit man, y'all need to. Y'all need to go. Y'all might as well just go ahead and go downtown, ask yeah. them for an application, how to be a detective. Go ahead and do y'all what is it, four years being a cop, and actually get a paycheck instead of hopping on Reddit and working for free. The boys on the Reddit go crazy. So yeah, I know if you probably had some incriminating stuff, yeah, it definitely probably would have been on there. And yeah, so good move. Are you so since it's down? Like, are you ever gonna like refilm it or anything? Yeah, I would. I'm definitely thinking about refilming it. I'm gonna add like some bits and parts yeah. of the old video and refilming that bit. There you I'm go. I'm definitely gonna redo that bit, bro. Definitely, definitely, man. So, when you made the decision to take everything off your Instagram, what was the move there? Like, fresh start? Was it like, you know? No, I took, I ain't, it's just like I just took shit. I be taking shit down all the time. I'm post delete. Yeah. I'm that type of nigga. But <laughs> that, that get my video. It just never dropped. It been on my page, but it just came down with everything else came down. Like, I feel I'll that. put it back on there and take it off. Put it back on there. But like I put it back on there, but it ain't that but the snippet. Right, right, right. But I'm gonna end up reshooting that bit and like around drop some more music. There you go. Out of all the music you drop, what you feel like the uh, biggest song is that you got out? That one. Get yeah, back. that. For sure. But me personally, I like uh, Big Three. It got 
CT and Lotto on that bit, and Levance three time on that bit. It's called Bit Three. I like my part personally. So. Yeah, <laughs> it's like on some, cause like my favorite artist, like that nigga Babyface Ray. Okay. I was on his type of time when I made that bit. That bit so hard though, to me. Yeah. So but, shit. Go ahead, go ahead. My bad. My uh, so that being a good segue, what are some of your your at twenty two? I can only imagine today like who you would be looking up to. You know what I'm saying? So you mentioned Babyface Ray. Who are some of your other inspirations when it come to rap? See, when I first started rapping, it was shit, the niggas I started rapping with. Uh, I feel that. Call me, he he called himself, call me Ben. Yeah, <laughs> Ben 10 times, some shit. That's my dog, though. Yeah. But Ben, I fuck with him. But, because I wouldn't, I always wanted to rap, but when I seen that shit in person, I was like, damn, like, shit, I can do that shit too. Yeah. They was actually making music, going to the studio, and all that shit. And that was just my way in. So shit, I found my way in. I ain't really had no inspiration of doing it doing it but them I seen them doing it and I seen everybody else doing this shit yeah but they just had the access to it I ain't had the access to it so. right right gotcha what are like uh, artists you were listening to like rapper, yeah yeah besides yeah besides your homies because uh, sometimes you listen to other people and they like you just listen to them they don't necessarily inspire you yeah like, yeah they yeah, know. Like, yeah. I can't really say I ain't really have no. See, I don't rap. My favorite rapper back. People laugh. My favorite rapper was Ludacris, man. So <laughs> I would listen to Ludacris heavy. Ludacris, who else? Lil Wayne. Back then, I would listen to everybody for real. I, I, I like all genres. Yeah. Everything. I like everything. So I ain't really have no inspiration, like to rap. I just like the music. I got a love for the music for real. Mm. What uh, yeah, just name some people like what up like, people you fuck shit, with. Yeah, people like, you fuck with. At the time, I'm fucking with that nigga, oh, young boy, young baby boy. face Ray. Uh, I'm fucking with little baby. He was straight. Um, emphasis on straight, cause <laughs> yeah, nigga, he was straight at the time. I, I don't, yeah, I, mean, I, I ain't really hearing shit. They put the light on that boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm fucking with. I can't. I'm fucking with Detroit niggas too, for real. Yeah, V's and all them. Yeah, them niggas. I'm yeah, fucking man. with them. Hey man, I listen to all them niggas, but yeah, Detroit music definitely. You could tell it took a toll on Jacksonville in a, yeah. in a good way, because yeah, we was uh we was drilled out for a second. Yeah. I'm happy that. We got some rappers, they down here, they doing the uh, quote unquote motion music now. Mm -hmm. Got away from the drill music. Mm -hmm. Hey man, rest in peace, Butter Double. I feel like he brought that to the city. Heavy. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Butter was definitely rapping that motion music. Yeah, definitely. man. So, so. And he would D tap down with his homeboy too. too. Uh, Chop. I forgot what he called it. So, Money, some shit. Money? I forgot what he called it, but it was his homeboy. He rapped too. Uh, I think you talking about Keezy? That's his one homie that that he do the motion music too. I'm not sure what his name is, but I know he hard. Yeah, I think you're talking about head first Keezy. But yeah, them niggas, yeah, they definitely was on the on the way where everybody was dropping the heavy drill music and like, yeah, the who I smoke and all that. He was on the he was talking about get money and all like I respected that heavy, so yeah. Are you uh tapped in into the drill music or you like what's your way pretty much? Oh, uh. Like, I'm kind of tapped in with it, but I ain't really, like, I ain't really a big fan of it. For real. I did it, but I don't know what the fuck made me do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, when I, it's like, when I was tapped in with the drill shit, the, the main person I would listen to really had that drill shit on the wave, that nigga J-Dot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, J-Dot. That nigga yeah. had that shit on the wave, like, but... Other than that, that shit just came for real. For real. That shit just came on me. I can't really explain that shit. I feel that. Yeah, yeah, Jada, yeah, Jada Breezy. Yeah, I feel like he might be one of the best ones. I, if I had to pick one, 
I mean, I had to pick one. Yeah, he definitely <laughs> he the he the better one. But he he kind of versatile with it. Yeah, yeah he versatile. Yeah. Nah. Bro. Yeah. Definitely. At first he was drill hard yeah. as fuck. Mm-hmm. There's a few niggas locked up, but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna mention no names. Uh, that 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 definitely had some runs in that shit though. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. One of my favorites was um, Y and R Mookie. That's the oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. movie was hard. Him and the white dude, mm-hmm. the YNR, whatever whatever. Uh, white dude. Yeah, I forget what his name was. Yeah, man. But um, back to you. So uh, my favorite song from you is uh, "Pain Up Pain All We Knew." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with that. I fuck with that song heavy. What's the uh? What how how I'm worded, man? What's the what's the story behind that song? Pain All We Know. At the time, we were just, at the time, we were going through it, like, sleeping in cars, got to stand on the block all day, every day. Like, I can't really call nobody, for real. I ain't really had no hand I had to get that shit. But it just came, I freestyled out that bit, that whole thing. So it just, whatever was on my mind that time, it just came like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You a good free thrower? I'm straight. Like I kind of slowed down on that bit. I don't know. I'm straight. To be real, I when I heard the song, I thought you wrote it. So like, to know that you freestyle it. That's pretty. That's that's yeah, nah, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah. That's when I was like, I think I made that around the same year. Get back. So I was really into the music at that time. Mm. But yeah, I freestyle that bit. I had like a few bars wrote, but. The rest of that shit, I freestyled because I had a hook. Mm. Well, the producer was like, so you might well make this the hook. And then yeah. I started rapping the rest gotcha. of that shit. So you said um, when you was really into it, like what made you want to slow down with the music? Well, not made you, like what made you slow down with the music? Police, for real. Damn. Police, death. And then the shit that just come behind it. You got to watch over your shoulder and shit. I feel that. Yeah. Your father also, you say you got a daughter, you got one on the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, little boy. Congratulations, man. Blessings, dude. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah, for me, and, yeah, me and Joe, no kid game. So yeah, yeah, I'm holding <laughs> strong, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm waiting till about like, I'm about like 46. I think, I think that's when I think I'm ready, man. 40 <laughs> crazy. <Yeah. laughs> you know, I wouldn't have ever worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's some real shit. Niggas getting up there, but hey, <laughs> I'm trying to shoot up the club soon. I tell you that. <laughs> um, Damn, get back is probably my favorite song. I mean, just the way you broke everything down, like that shit ride like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with that one crazy. Matter of fact, I was spending that shit like three, four times while I pulled up. <laughs> that shit, that shit, that get you hyped. Like a nigga yeah. go in the gym with that shit, put up two fifty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's on. That's on pop, pop one of football music for right real. There. That's nigga a, carry the flag, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> step on niggas. Nigga bang on, nigga bang on a wall real quick. Yeah, that, that's the yeah, that's definitely a part one of football music. For real, that's that. Yeah, that's. That. I ain't gonna lie, I'm waiting to see that video again, man. Shit, yeah, you gotta drop it, man. That's I'm that. Really that. Yeah. that I can see the Florida Gators losing to that song. Boy, right there, what man. the Boy, fuck is wrong song. with you? We gotta <laughs> jump this nigga for real. <laughs> I'm gonna just welcome you to jump in this nigga. Matter of fact. <laughs> Hey man, it is what it is, man. But yeah, get back is fire, man. I will say that I can see why. But see, man, I'm a uh, joking, like, joking. I'm a Debbie Downer, so I like that pain. All we know, man. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's that real pain music, man. But it's fire. It's fucked up that you was in a tough situation. I know we all go through our things, but like sometimes pain make a but no beauty in that shit. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, definitely. That that track stood out to me the most. But yeah. Hell yeah. What's what's one of your favorite records? Yeah. Out if you had to say outside of get back. Yeah, I'm about to say what's your favorite record on that but the beginning. Uh, you you did say uh uh B three, uh, yeah. yeah. B three, I fought with that song hard. Yeah. Yeah. That song crazy. 
You ever you got a verse to where any of your homies got the better of you? <laughs> Do you got a song to where any of your friends might have had the better verse? On that on that project? On that yeah, album? yeah, yeah. There's only like three people on that bit. Nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. They gonna listen to this and be like, man, what you mean? <laughs> yeah, nah. They got spaz on it. You ain't never had one of your homies, man. Y'all. I ain't gonna lie. The uh, nigga on um, CTM Lotto. Yeah. He, he hard as fuck, though. Yeah, he yeah. He yeah. freestyle, but that nigga take forever. Like, <laughs> he'll, he'll come in that bit at 8 30, he ain't done freestyle until about like 10. Damn. <laughs> but that nigga hard, though. Yeah, I'm gonna bring him in it next time. There you go. Because sure. I was about to say, man, I feel like every rapper probably had a situation where they were rapping with somebody, and the nigga ate them up, and they're like, "All right, bro, I gotta go back and write my verse." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nigga, tell me, damn, cause I tore that nigga up in his own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the rules on that? Like, as a rapper, like if a nigga, if you rapping with another nigga. Mm-hmm. And y'all own the song, and the nigga destroy you. Like, what's the rule? You gotta keep your verse, or you like, you could redo it, or you just make your own rules up. They know time? that shit. If, honestly, they know that shit gonna pop. So they yeah. don't even more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's typically how it go. It's like, so I tell you this. Um, I, I was rapping way back when, man. We had a nigga out of Texas, a uh, nigga named Howard Flo Stella. Yeah. That nigga had a verse on on my project. Shit went crazy, nigga. Like, he murdered the verse. But when I was writing the song, for me, it was just like a filler track. You know what I'm saying? It was just something to, like... Filling in. Yeah, just play until the next record type shit. So him going crazy didn't bother me. You know what I mean? Niggas, we dropped the project. Niggas was hitting my inbox like crazy. Like, hey, bruh, bruh killed you on this record. I'm like, well, damn. Yeah. The nigga like a year or two later had threw me a verse and bruh, I went, I blacked out on that shit. I blacked out on that <laughs> shit. I, I like stamped it, made sure that nigga even hit me. He was like, damn bruh, you kinda Lil Wayne me on my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um <clears throat> you like that. Yeah, like sometimes I think oftentimes when you're writing the song, it's just like, man, I wanna do what sounds best. I ain't really mm-hmm. in competition. In this moment, you mm-hmm. do got songs that are like that to where it's like, shit, I'm finna destroy this nigga. Mm-hmm. But you can kind of tell that energy. Mm. Yeah, it, um, that shit is for fun, for real. Yeah, yeah. Shit Friendly fun. competition. Yeah. Figure <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, period. That yeah. shit is supposed to be for fun. You, you ain't lying now. Shit, shit ain't that shit. That shit make you money. That's all you should want out there, bitch. Yeah. Hey, bro, them wise words. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes niggas get a little competitive. I know, I know me, man. I'd be like, man, let me do my verse. Let me get like one. <laughs> let me get, you remember the Madden rewind? Let me get yeah. my rewind. Okay, let me oh, do I'm it. telling you, shit, crowd part. Nigga, feel like they gotta be better than the next person. One hundred. Be fine. Plus, be all going crazy. Yeah. And that's how I looked at it. You know what I mean? It's like, man, shit. I want everybody to shine. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yes. Yeah. The, the best party for real. <laughs> for real. Yeah. 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 Definitely. I respect that, but yeah, me man, I'm a uh, I'm a sore loser. I'm just playing, man. It don't, it don't matter, but yeah, I, was, I yeah, I respect what y'all saying. Yeah. All right, so I got a I got a question for you. If you had a dream collab, right, you could pick anybody out of the industry and do a song with them right now today. Who would it be? Matter of fact, I'm gonna make it a little more challenging. You got to give us a rap artist. You got to give us an R&B artist. And then you want to cross over. So we need a white artist. <laughs> Tight <Tight-shit>. shit. <laughs> a rap artist. Damn. I can't even say, it, bro. I listen to so many people. A rap artist. Yeah, you got one. It won't be no nigga like Drake or no Jay-Z, no shit like that. It'll probably be like... I can't even say, bro. Uh, R&B artist, though, I go with, um, what's her name? Young Thug Girlfriend. Okay, Mariah DeSantis. Mariah DeSantis. Okay. She fine. She fine. I like her beats, too. Yeah. And she fine. A white yeah, artist. Oh, what's that dude name? I can't even think of his name. What are you saying? Uh... 
Man, I can't even think of your name for real. How he look? Shit, <laughs> 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 niggas try to help <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Shit, only uh, one I can think about is uh, well, Jelly Roll rap. Um, oh, man, he ain't really crossing up. Like over. a white singer. Any, yeah. any artist. Yeah, yeah, probably pop oh. artist. You should have said pop artist. Yeah, I should have said pop. I know. I, I, I know the easiest one. I if I if I wanted to cross over, I'm I'm hollering at Ariana Grande. I gotta look that shit up. Damn, man. she popping like that. Yeah, Damn, yeah, man. she cross. Yeah, you cross over her, but and she could sing. She could sing real good. She could sing real good, but I just ain't never heard. Like she don't really be oh, making much noise. Uh, Sean Mendez. Okay, I fuck with bro. That's a good one. Hard. That's a good one. And a uh, rap artist. That's a, that's it. actually a, a good surprise there. Yeah. Um, for yeah. pop. I ain't tapped in with bro. Yeah. Yeah. A rap artist, I'll probably go with on. Um, he like big in the industry. Either way. It ain't gotta be big. It ain't yeah. gotta be a big artist. It'd be somebody yeah, that you um, like. Damn. ATM, Tanner, some shit like that. However you say his name. Uh, yeah, ATM Tanner. I ain't familiar. ATM T A N A. I think okay. yeah, yeah. He was he 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 came in here for creeping. I remember I remember him. Mm-hmm. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, yeah, got gotcha. you. I ain't never listened to bro music, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to check him out. Yeah. All right, Joe. You answer the question. Answer your own question. I'm interested Ooh. in what you what you what you get. Okay. Shit. Um, rap wise, right now, I think. Um, damn, now that, that's a tough one. Um, so I'm gonna do R and B and and my pop artist first. So if I had to go R and B, I'd probably do a song with Rihanna. Like that would be my dream collab mm-hmm. type shit. Yeah. Um, pop wise, I'm gonna either go Jameson. I don't know if he would fit into that pop category. Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna go Jameson, or I probably would go Hozier. Honestly, and Hozier, I try and make something like dark and moody type shit. But um. Rap wise, damn, like you say, it's a couple. It's a couple of directions you could go today, especially. Um, I think for myself personally, of course, a nigga would love to do like a Kendrick Lamar feature. Yeah. But it's one of those things to where, like, if we being honest, I don't want to just get toe up on my own record. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, if you going like Jameson? I know it's yours, but I. Like- I hit I hit up that nigga Don Tolliver or some shit. Like oh, that. Don Tolliver would definitely be like high on my list, high on yeah, my yeah. list. Um, rap wise, I'm I'm I probably do a song with uh, Travis Scott, mm-hmm. like jump out of the bag a little bit, uh, jump out of the box a little bit, and because uh, I think he does a great job of like really adding elements and bringing out a lot in his music. So I think uh, Travis Scott would be one I work with. Yeah, I ain't really listen to music like that. I mean, I listen to everybody, but I ain't really paying attention to them. I feel that. Yeah, yeah all right. So uh, let me ask you, like, you was talking about freestyling and whatnot. So, like, what's your technique to, like, doing songs? Are you mostly writing or you tapped in with the freestyling more than anything? Uh, come up with something in my head, try to jot it down, uh-huh. and just re-say it, re-say mm-hmm. it, like, Better than what the fuck I wrote. Yeah. yeah. You one of the ones that like you wait till you get to the studio and write, or you you writing at the crib? Sometimes I feel like if I'm gonna write something, it's some deeper shit. Like it's some shit I I need to say. Mm. But other than that, I just go for the fuck of it. That's why I pass through my shit like crazy. Like people like damn, cause you done did like two songs. <laughs> yeah, one song like thirty minutes, another song I can do that shit that fast because. When I get locked in, I'm locked in. Right, right. One thing that I do like when I listen to your music is you can hear the conviction. Like, everything that you're saying sounds real. Like, you can hear the passion in it. You know what I'm saying? It it don't sound like you just trying to entertain us. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm really big on that because there's a lot of niggas today to where when they rap, you can hear that. Hey, you just you you literally just picked up the, um, the microphone. You know what I mean? Like, you just doing this to pass time more than anything. Mm-hmm. But I, I fuck with, you know, how strong you, like the belief is in your music. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, I try to be like a people's person. Yeah. For, for, I love the people. Do it for the people. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for the people. 
Nah, I mean, I like that you put all the energy into the music for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, you said that's how you were running for president. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, for real. Yeah. Like, vote for me. You know why they call me people's? <laughs> <laughs> so you got a uh, you got a go to producer that you work with? Nah, uh, uh, I just go to one person, but I'm looking for that go to. Uh-huh. Looking for that one that one producer. Yeah, gonna lock in with me. Do a whole project. So how you getting your beat? You do on the uh, the YouTube bro or? Yeah, I ain't got nobody make no beats for me yet. <laughs> shit, you keep taking down your music, man. They, they tough. <laughs> well, yeah, shit, tough. yeah, you got a whole, well, you got a whole project up. You yeah, 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 for sure. Get, get down. Yeah, yeah, I ain't really got no, I ain't really got no flow yet. So that come with time, bro. And I think that you know, don't beat yourself up about that. You know what I mean? When I was making music, I used to think like that all the time. Like, yeah, damn, bro, I, I don't have that that. that specific sound yet right yeah. but when your when your fans are listening to you they don't they don't think about that shit only mm-hmm. thing they thinking is man i fuck with that record i love that this record don't sound like that record and i fuck with it just as much you know what i'm saying so today you ain't gotta have that you know yeah, i you think way know. back when it was like you gotta be very technical with rap man today niggas really like you say just having fun with the shit mm-hmm. so definitely continue <laughs> So what you putting in tight beats or like what's your tight what's your go to? Tight beat, tight beat. You be like a uh, NBA young boy type beat or Nah see I I try out his shit with his shit all the same. Yeah, yeah. I can't do that shit. That's one tough thing about looking up beats on YouTube, yeah, boy. Once they the find the sound, nigga, they like, yeah, I got twenty beats for you yeah. with this same drum pattern. Yeah, sometimes I be like I just be bored. I be looking at tight beats, and I just put an artist name in, and then like I be like, I done listen to a bunch of this nigga music. It don't sound nothing like none of these. <laughs> this nigga out secretly writing the album. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just be bored sometimes. I be like, I be curious. I be like, man, how did before nigga- the episodes, this nigga be in this bit like Jay Z trying to rap, <laughs> sitting down and shit. Hey, man, we, we, we freestyle, man. <laughs> So you got any um, got any videos on the way or what? What, what else? What's you working, next for what you? you? Working on right nah, now? I'm finna start shooting videos. <coughs> I got I got I still got hella hella more songs. I just made. I just finna start shooting videos, getting my content out. Like, why I really you know, came up? I, finna, I want content now. Nah, yeah. Do shit. Nah, I wanna All right, man. That's the perfect shit the perfect time to start, man. Yeah, yeah, ain't it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nigga said I could be outside comfortably. <laughs> <It's cold. laughs> That's funny. It's it. But shit, yeah, now it's time to get that work done, man. Grind all winter. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm like saying? That something. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, baby face right there. That shit. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, before we record, he said he was trying to move to us. What the city you said you were trying to move to? I was like, bro, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. My fault. We'll, we'll say on here. I just asked to see if Joe heard it and shit. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I wasn't familiar, but we're going to move we'll, to Alaska or some shit. Yeah, we're just going to say, yeah, we're going to say uh, Alaska. Yeah, he want to move to Alaska, man. Uh, hey, man. Uh, you, what's you got any you working on any projects or anything coming out before the end of the year yeah well before the end of the year hey yeah, i can i can probably do something but <laughs> probably not probably gonna be like february when i drop something again when i drop a whole album i'm still working on it so i'm still working on that album yeah i feel like at the best point and obviously you got your mind made up this is just some advice on the outside I would just drop a bunch of singles and videos right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's what it. Is. That's what it's gonna be right now. But at the same time, I have on the side the songs that ain't gonna be right. Gonna right. Be, it's gonna be on the album. <coughs> but yeah. Because I know a lot. I know like a lot of artists here. They be they'll drop a. They'll drop a project and then like it just be a project and then they don't have nothing else. Nothing. After that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I me watching like other artists like. I'm a big fan of uh, Wiz Haven, CEO Trail. Mm-hmm. They drop, they hit you over the head with a ton of singles. Mm-hmm. Then they drop the, the album. The album. Then they hit, they drop you, they hit up, hit you over the head by eight months worth of singles spread out. And then the project, yeah, the traditional. Yeah, that's album. how it go. Like usually, they probably drop an album, drop singles, drop videos. Yeah. yeah. 
that time frame, probably like a good eight months. Mm-hmm. Drop an album. Yeah. Drop videos, drop singles. Yeah, like the full it's a pattern. Yeah. All right. Like the full the full proof way is like drop the project. <laughs> Drop singles, drop a project, and then on the same day your project drop, drop about a two of videos that week, and they just go from there. So yeah. that's literally what everybody doing. Like niggas just be fumbling it somehow. I don't know. I like all artists do that. Like it's it's, it's easy, man. I don't know, man. K, I felt yeah. What they say? So easy. A K man can do it, bro. Like just just stick to it. Just do what everybody else doing. It work. We done had the music industry for like always, like fit all forever. <laughs> content video wise so it's like nigga just do whatever you need to do and get that shit cracking man yeah, yeah. Hey, you, got any, you got any other questions Joe? nah man shit I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to uh what's to come man we need them videos ASAP definitely. dog definitely man the energy in them records man that shit crazy so I definitely want to see that shit translate to video for sure but in the meantime make sure y'all listen to that the beginning album man. oh yeah 100 definitely gonna slap that man I already told y'all what my favorite song is. I'm not going to repeat it. Just rewind the episode. I'm going to tell you what my favorite song is. Joe <laughs> said what his favorite song is. Yes, sir. You hit that rewind button. We gave y'all some workout listen, music. Go listen to that. <laughs> Pop one or two. Yeah, man. get in the uh, motivational bag, man. All right, man. Yeah, uh, Juan, you got anything you want to leave the listeners with? Shit. Be yourself, for real. Definitely. There you go. That's, yeah, that's definitely the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, important um, thing to do. So you keep going. Honestly, like, so you keep going. So you gonna win some, lose some. You gonna make friends, lose some. And shit, life gonna keep life. Yeah, yeah. Sure, bro. But yeah, yeah, that's it, though. That's what I gotta say. Yes, shit, go ahead and plug all your socials, man. Let the folks know where they can find you at. Oh, shit. You can find me on YouTube at Lil Juan three times. L A W A N. Three times, no space. Definitely. Shit, Instagram, Lil Juan, three times. And all my songs are everywhere, on every platform. That's it. Yes, sir. Y'all tap in, man. Go download that album, The Beginning. Tap in with Luan, man. We definitely going to have him come back out after you get them videos out. <laughs> and shit, man. We we excited to see more from you, for sure. Yes, sir. So, we, we, when, when the video come out, we're going to do some video breakdowns, man. So, yes, sir. Man. Hey. Yes, sir. It's been another episode of Random Action Podcast. It's your boy Ampavelli. Mr. Jefferson. With all that said, we out. <laughs>